Hey guys, so in addition to these cards that just went up in price, uh, this card just went up in price quite a bit. So it's like a dollar fifty, but again, it's bulk, right? So it went from like ten cents or eight cents or whatever to a dollar fifty because it sees some play. Um, I believe in standard, but it could be modern. It appears in a deck. I don't remember what the deck was, but it is a interesting deck. Um, I like the deck a lot, but it's a kind of a one trick pony type of deck. Uh, where you're doing the same thing over and over again and there's not really that much that you need to be doing. Uh, it's the same trick over and over again and yeah. So let me talk about the speculation a little bit more and the concept of all of these cards. And these cards are bulk. The best speculations is not like if you buy Force of Will and goes from $70 to $80. Because guess what? You just lost $30 on buy list. Like, good for you, right? Or, you buy, um, you buy, let's say, Snap at 50 and Snap becomes 80. Yeah, you probably made out okay on buy list and you actually didn't lose money. But at the same time, like, what are you really doing? Like, that's not the X multiplier because for $50, you could buy, I'm assuming these are like 10 cents or some of these cards are 10 cents a piece. Let's take the example of, uh, let's put this card at like 50 cents. I don't think it was more than 50 cents. Uh, let's put it at 50 cents and you buy a hundred copies of it and now it becomes eight dollars and it becomes not just eight dollars it becomes one of the high most highly tradable liquid cards on the market this card i cannot keep in my binder i just cannot keep it like i gotta accumulate them and then just trade them away but yeah isn't that crazy i think i find that uh astounding right that um people who make speculations they typically do safer speculations but the v real value is in this type of speculation i mean i look at it and i say to myself oh my gosh rally ancestor was like eight cents now it's like a dollar fifty you can trade four of them in for like a pseudo valuable card uh this card was probably less than 50 cents and now it's eight bucks and then this card is like definitely less than 50 cents and now it's four bucks um you probably could get the foils for 50 cents, but regardless, that's what type of speculations I'm interested in. And I had to do my homework a little bit because I'll be honest, I didn't predict uh, any of these at all. Uh, it just so happened that I opened so many packs, I just have lots of them. And then I was able to trade them away. I kept opening this card and I thought it was bad. Like it looked really bad to me, but I had to do a little bit more homework and I'll bring you guys back another episode of like a top five bulk pickups um, again the risk is much higher because these cards are not supposed to go up these cards are not supposed to be eight four dollars or even dollar fifty cards these cards are supposed to be eight cents ten cents and i i do to be able to give you a i to be able to like kind of pick one of these i had to pick like five of them and hope that one of them goes up to cover the rest but once it does go up like a let's say this is 80 cents like 80 cents like that's just for the math and goes up to eight dollars are you kidding me like what else like what else do you need to do like what else do you need to do and it trades well at eight dollars it trades well as a play set for 32 dollars what card in standard can you not get for 32 dollars i think the most expensive one would be uh, jace right now at 30 dollars but even then man like it's just um to me it is astounding that um, this stuff happens and people don't talk about it and they only talk about the snappies and the lilies and the you know all these cards but these cards are out of reach for most people uh, to speculate on and I yeah I can be like oh everyone we, we need to go out and buy dual lands because they always go up what who is that helping is, is that helping you guys like when I, I say that and I show you my dual lands and like no it's not helping you guys so I felt like this would be an interesting, um, it's not a series, it's definitely something I want to do. And it will also be up in Patreon. So I'll be on Patreon first, um, and then I'll publish it. And the reason I want to do this is I do feel like a lot of you uh, need, you need to play magic and you need to do so kind of on a budget. And one of the things I have a problem with is a lot of times people on a budget, they say like, you just should play poor decks. I say the reverse. I say you need to 
pick up and do smart trading, smart speculating, and then trade for the decks you want to play. You shouldn't always be obligated to play mono red or some type of weird rogue built that is weak. Um, you should be able to play the top one decks if you want. And if you had if you had a hundred copies of this card, you could play any deck in standard you want right now. You can trade into any deck. You can trade into two decks, three decks, I don't know. Um, and that's what I'm going to do because I do feel like uh, and I'll talk about this person uh, when I make a person video. Bye, guys.